That's right, in July, the three lifeguards jumped into action during an emergency at the Nelson Center pool. News Channel 20's Monique Davis is working for you to share how it all unfolded. Monique? I was, I was just scared. I didn't know, it was, I didn't know if he was going to make it. Um, and all the adrenaline that was going on just... It broke me down almost. During an early summer morning in July, Olivia Killian was sitting high up in her lifeguard chair when she saw a swimmer was in distress. He stopped in the middle of the lap lane and I noticed that he just, he was off. He was leaning on the lane lines and a couple of other master swimmers uh, came over and asked him if he was okay. He couldn't say anything. I could hear him breathing from where I was and I was like, okay, this is happening. Olivia was instructed to call 911 by Adam, the head lifeguard. When the man was pulled out of the pool, he was still breathing and said he was experiencing chest pain. Connor Martin knew in that moment that they had to act fast. In those types of scenarios, that's what your main focus is on, is we have to potentially save a life here. And I think that's mainly what was running through all of our heads at the moment. While the lifeguards were waiting for the EMS to arrive, the victim lost consciousness. Connor had noticed that this individual had stopped breathing and lost pulse, so Adam started doing CPR. We went into the full response. This man is currently unwell. We needed to save a life. Adam and Connor took turns doing three cycles of CPR and ventilations. After the third cycle, EMS arrived on the scene and they took over and they got him in the ambulance and he got his pulse back. Mm -hmm. Olivia and Connor said as teenagers, they had to act professional than they've ever been. What everyone's told us, our bosses, managers, we acted the best that we possibly could and that gave me some relief. Connor, Olivia and Adam were the only lifeguards on duty that day. The Springfield Park District presented them with plaques to commemorate their work. And that was Monique Davis reporting. Now we're happy to report the man has made a full recovery. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.